Good morning, Frank Watkins with Joe. Kylie once again is tied up with a client, so welcome, Joe. Thank you. I get to have a little Bo Peep today. Okay, I'll go straight to my fallback scan, high, 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 low, and hit scan, bearing in mind the data is off. So I'm looking at close of business yesterday. Uh, A4N, I don't actually mind it, it's, it's not great. I'd probably be looking for a break of 55. OBV is uh, very good. And uh, issued cap at 793 million is not too much, but we can probably find better. A cap, well, uh, yesterday was the day to be on board that one. Not saying it won't go further, but uh, not for me, simply because the only place I can place a, an intelligent stop is under here at six and a half cents, buying 12 cents. I'm not going to risk 50%. Uh, AGR, again, it just needs to do a bit, of more, bit more work and see what it does up here. Uh, I've seen worse, only a five cent stock. Australian mines, similar, I think, um, I think it's got a break somewhere up here, 2728. Uh, 4.3 billion out there is a stopper for me. Uh, CST, I like this still. Uh, we're talking yesterday whether to buy a break of 24, 24 and a half, 25. Let's just check in and see what it's done today. That, um, that looks even better. I do like this tight handle here, this fraction of sideways movement. OBV still rising. I would be having a very close look at CST. Tightly held, only 200 million out there. So CST looking good. Turn the data off, move on. CWY, um, I just want to bring in more data and look at that. Uh, I'd be opting for a break of about 285 rather than where the computer has indicated. EMD, uh, this is fairly similar. And again, we're not coming off a significant low here. We're coming off a low, but I'd rather mm. be back here. So again, I shall move on. ENT, that's just messy, 1.6 cents. Uh, that's a disaster, it's an option. Uh, IGO, we mentioned we're liking this on a break of $10. Again, it's not a significant long-term low. Uh, perhaps down here at $6 uh, is a, a long-term low. But um, a break of 10 will be important regardless. And this is one of the points with the scanning. Scanning will bring stocks to your attention. Whether it's a higher, higher, higher low or not is pretty irrelevant. Break of $10, I'd want to know about that. Kingston, I think it's got a lot of work to do to get through 22 and a half, 25, so on and so forth. Ketone Dairy, again, it's got to get through 15 before I'm interested, but great OBV uh, lately. Ketone Dairy Corporation, 274 million out there. Do a lot of work on that one. And um, yeah, the OBV looks good. Uh, I've got the same issue with uh, MNS as I do with others. others. It's not a long-term significant low. NAB, we talked about this one yesterday. SUV, again, yeah, it, it, it needs to clear all of this stuff. Um, you know, 12 months ago, we were at 15 cents. Today, we're at 15 cents. So this, this might be the break coming, but... So where would you look at getting into that? Where would you start to take it seriously? Oh, break of 20. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it just it needs to needs to do something. Yeah. yeah. Um, Thor, this is a bit of a Thor point, um, but uh, yeah, it's a one point two cent job. So uh, that actually, I'm looking at the option on Thor. 
So that's going to be thin, uh, going to be very difficult to get hold of any options on a thaw. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Uh, got to break nine and a half, ten cents before I get interested. But again, there's a good chance of that. It was a great day yesterday. Um, open on the low, closed on the high, good OBV, good volume. So uh, actually, just Can we see for what it's interest. Done today? Sake, yep, you read my mind. Oh, oh. <laughs> up, up and away. Um, the troops are gathering on the Yellow Brick Road. So is that too late now? or...? Uh, for me, it is. Mm. You see, if this came up yesterday, you've got this level here of 9.2 cents, the high yesterday, 9.2. If you wanted to be in it, you should have had an order on overnight to buy uh, at 9.3, mm. uh, a start gain or whatever they call it. Mm. Um, so if, if what you did it open at? placed that order at 9.3, um, you'd have been filled very shortly after okay. the open, yep. and uh, you'd, uh, you'd have a few bob in your pocket now. Mm. Uh, okay, that's it. No, it's not. Zip. Um, I've traded zip twice. Uh, bought here, sold here, bought here, sold here. Um, I'm not convinced with zip. It's got to break eight dollars for me. Uh, this is a long-term low, there is a high, there's a higher low. One should obey the chart and buy the break of, say, 7.25. But uh, I, want, I want conviction on this thing because uh, there's just too much talk about it out there. So a break of $8 and I'll get interested again. Mm. Funnily enough, that's where I bought it back here. Break of 8 sold 14. Oh, well, that'd be nice. Yep, yeah, mm. that was a good trade and a fast trade. Mm. Uh, now, you said we had a, a query come in overnight. What was that? Yeah, for some Darvis box uh, scans. Okay, let's scan. I do love the Darvis box scan, Darvis. but I also would like to know um, sort of what you what you would choose and why for your scan periods. Okay, uh, scan period. I'll always use a Fibonacci number, so it's going to be. 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, or 89. Mm -hmm. Because I feel the market is on the move, I want to use a scan period of eight days. So I'm basically saying to the computer, show me anything that today is at, or was very recently at, an eight-day high. If the market were really flat, I'd probably go out and look for something that's at a 55-day high. Okay. Um, don't worry about top and bottom confirmation, percentage risk buffer. I just don't, I'm not interested in any, in any of that. I could tick limit total risk to 10%, right. but uh, I won't. I will make up my own mind on how much risk I take. I'm not interested in volume spikes. Uh, I just want to find something that is in a box and in any box, not necessarily the first box of a sequence, any box. Okay, yep. Um, don't worry about any of that. Throw in your chosen um, uh, price range and I'll go one cent, just for the sake of the exercise, I'll go from one cent to 50 cents. Okay, so before, we're down in the before gutter. Before you do scan it, uh, so these things that you're not looking at because you can just have a look and decide for yourself. Obviously, if you've come up with a whole lot of results, you would come back in and or possibly rescan and rescan yep. it. Yep. And limiting your total risk to ten percent. If if it's in your trading plan that you you know ten percent is your total risk, it's something you would let's say you were just starting to do a DARPA scan, just starting in your trading. Now let me do it, and okay. I'll probably better to explain with the picture in front of us. Okay, okay there's only four of them. Okay. Now, um, bear in mind I've got a pretty tight parameter with the price range. Mm. So we've had one Davis box here. Theory is you'd have bought the break of 17.5, 17.7. Yep. You'd have put a stop at 13.5. The way it goes, and we now are forming another Davis box. So assuming you haven't been stopped out or assuming you haven't taken profits, yep. um, you would now have an order to buy 23 and a half. 
if you buy a 23 and a half, then the stop from this parcel should move up to 16 and a half. But when I talk about risk, okay, top of 23, bottom of 16 and a half. So you, say you buy 23 and a half, 16 and a half, that's seven and a half cent risk. It, it's too much risk. It's way over 10%. Yep. Yep. So I get right into looking at the box and with this big green candle here, mm. that's the direction the stock wants to go. Nice and tight four days here yep. and a break. Yep. Yep. So I'm anticipating that we'll break uh, 23. Mm. I might put an order on to buy a 23 and a half, but I would categorically have my stop loss under, whoops, whoops, under the halfway point uh, of this handle. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. So That's my right. stop's going to be 20 cents. So let's go with 19 and a half. Yep. I'm buying 23 and a half. I love Darvis entries. Um, I tend to place my own stops where okay. I see some form yeah. of logic. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, have a look at one more and then that will do us. IMU. Um, yeah, I, I would prefer more data, more sideways movement, but assuming you bought 43 and a half, uh, the stop at 37, if we break 51 and a half, you'd move your stop up to 38 and a half. Um, so basically just waiting for a break of that one. Yeah. Uh, OBV pretty solid mm. given the pullback from 51 down to 40 yeah. odd. Yep. Um, MTC, got to do a lot of work in here before we buy a break. PPL, uh, it's in its second box. OBV is still strong. No reason to think it won't go further. And that's it. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Thank um, you, Frank. We shall meet again tomorrow.